What's up guys and welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Today we're going to be doing a how to mod video on Dark Side Bastila, Bastila Fallen, Badstila as some of you call her. The next few how to mod videos I do are going to be doing are going to be focused on the newer Old Republic characters, Karth, Juhani, Candorus, etc. So when looking at Dark Side Bastila, there are really two ways to mod her i'm going to show you the way i mod her and we got to look at her abilities first to determine how we want to do that her first ability sith assault she deals special damage and she has the chance to inflict well she does inflict ability block for one turn and it deals 10 percent more damage and has 10 percent critical chance for each active sith ally you're usually going to use her with all sith so it's going to 50 percent there uh, deal, the wild lightning deals special damage to target enemy and shock them for three turns. So if the target already had shock, deal bonus special damage to all other enemies. This bonus damage cannot be countered. This ability can't be evaded. That's awesome. Shock is a very cool ability. Next, we have fear. Stun target enemy for one turn with an 80% chance to stun another random enemy, which can't be evaded. When each of these stuns expire, inflict offense down, defense down, evasion down, speed down, expose, and stagger. For two turns, these effects can't be resisted. resisted. That's a lot of debuffs flying around right there, and you get that stun right away. You can potentially stun two people. It's a pretty good ability. Then we have Corrupted Battle Meditation. At the start of Basilisk's turn, all enemies lose 3% turn meter, doubled against non-Jedi and non-Sith, and are inflicted with Corrupted Battle Meditation for one turn. Then she recovers 1% protection for each debuff on enemies. Corrupted Battle Meditation, minus 30% critical chance and minus 30% counter chance, doubled against non-Jedi and non-Sith. Okay, and then Sith Apprentice states that I'm not going to look at the Zeta ability here because the Zeta just adds a, a foresight. Bastila and the character in the leader slot have plus 50% defense and tenacity. If Bastila's leader is Sith, whenever an enemy is inflicted with death mark, shock, or mark, they gain 5% offense, stacking up to 100% for the rest of the battle. This ability does not apply to characters in the ally slot. Okay, so basically looking into these abilities, we need to know that she's going to be inflicting a lot of debuffs, and that's what's most important. So let's look at how we should mod her. Now, do I have my best mods on her? No, I actually flipped a few round for Grand Arena the other day, and I didn't want to change them back. I'm farming quite a few more mods now, too. You know, I want to get everybody up uh, as maximum as possible. So when we go into the uh, basic, it says recommended for speed and health sets. Yes, that's true. You want her to go very, very fast. But I'm the type of person that you want potency as well. And if you can get some good enough speed with keeping potency mods on there, I think that's okay. I mean, when I had my other potency set I had on her, I had her at like 242 speed. And that was not my six dot mod set. That was some potency and health mods that I had on her. So you do want to mod her for health. You want her to be able to survive. And also you want to be able to stick those debuffs. Now, 110.6% potency. That is a lot of potency. Some of you are probably wondering, well, you know, why that much? Also, you got to remember most of the time she's going to be used with a trail lead or a Palpatine lead. And they're going to be gaining or they're going to be giving extra potency to the rest of the team. So this is like, you know, 150% potency, which is a lot, but... As I always say, there can never be enough. So what are we looking for in the secondaries? In the secondaries, well, of course, speed is the primary thing to look for, as it is with most every character. Crit chance is nice as well. And basically, potency, you know, look for potency, speed, crit chance, some offense, stuff like that. Actually, defensive statistics aren't necessarily going to hurt her here because she's not, she's kind of squishy at times. She's not very survivable. So if you can keep her alive longer, that's going to help. So really look for speed and any other secondary statistics are actually pretty good here. She's not like a character you just have to focus on. Oh, she needs offense. She just needs crit chance. Everything is pretty solid. So in the uh, square here, primary is offense as always, plus 10 speed, some crit chance, defense, defense. And like I said, these aren't the mods I usually have on her. Uh, then we look at the diamond here. Speed in the primary is always and plus nine speed, such a nasty health, health, health you know or health and health you know this mod is very average i put it on here for the speed and for the health mod um, would like a little more than that in the circle plus 10 speed again the, you know you'd like to get the plus 15 or higher speeds what we're looking for here some extra offense health uh protection excuse me and a primary of protection as well okay now in the cross what do we want in the cross potency i prefer potency as always that's what most people should do as you can see this doesn't even have a speed secondary in it which is a bad thing you always want speed secondaries i just had to put this mod on here to complete the potency set that i was looking for because it's a potency mod with the potency primary stat so please 
make sure they're speeding the second race for this make sure you have a few other good statistics as well in the triangle now this is a crit damage potency or it's a potency mod crit damage is the primary stat it has plus nine speed actually preferably i think you'd want to put an offensive mod here that's how i do it with my with my other mod set um this one just had plus nine speed when i was switching around so i was okay with that because i got some of that extra speed but really i think offense in the primary stat here would be okay she deals special damage um, more than she does physical damage um, but I really don't think you can go wrong. It's all about that secondary speed as well. And of course, in the arrow, you want a primary stat of speed here. Plus 30 speed. And I actually have crit chance, defense, potency, and some extra defense here. Um, so, you know, this is how you should monitor. You can definitely switch out for the mods to put a speed set on her, which is actually what the game recommends, and then put some health or a potency set on her because you do want her to go fast. Or if you have good mods, potency and health mods, Put them on there make sure her speeds get stacked pretty high because that's going to help her survivability it's going to help all the debuffs from flying around and she really helps take that treya team to the next level is trying to beat revan so we're going to bring her into battle here i have her at gear 11 as you saw and i'm just going to go let's see are there any events i can do i guess we'll just go into a dark side battle here we're going to go eight we're going to go hard we're gonna go battle and I'm gonna run with a I actually don't want any I don't want any help there we'll take this guy right here <laughs> and we're going to run with Treya the normal team that we run with with usually it's gonna be Treya Scion or Nihilus Scion find me dark side Bastila here You're gonna have to scroll down there's dark side Bastila and then usually either Thrawn or Sith Trooper will actually run Thrawn so I can get some Palpatine would get more shock, but I'm gonna run Thrawn so I can switch turn meter. Okay, so. I'm gonna switch this with Dark Side Bass to the right here. Okay, now, oh, I accidentally switched to a Treya. Wonderful. Don't you hate that when you press the wrong button? Look at this. I'm going to go right <laughs> through right any of them before Bastila even got an attack because I pressed the wrong button. Okay, here we go. So it's Bastila's turn. As you can see, we have the Corrupted Battle Meditation, Decreased Critical Chance, Counter Chance. Uh, then we'll look at our abilities again here. This is the uh, Fear, Stunning the Target, 80% Chance to uh, Stun another random enemy. This is the Wild Lightning, deal special damage to a target enemy and shock them. And then this is the basic, which is going to give ability block and potentially do more damage. We're actually going to try to stun more than one enemy. Look at I stunned two enemies there. Yes, that's wonderful. Okay, now I can easily go and take them out. And another big hit here, or potentially. I can't even say they're big hits, these guys, you know. <laughs> and now we will use Wild Lightning, just for the fun of it, because it, it looks really cool as well. Her graphics... Are, are pretty well done again when she came out i never thought dark side bastila or fallen bastila would come to the game i just didn't think that she was prominent enough of a character and when she did i automatically then uh thought well oh this is going to be darth malik that's why i think there's still a chance it's going to be darth malik instead of darth revan okay let's go to low grade let's give ability block perfect again when you have this much potency that ability block's going to land which is why some people say well it's overkill to put that much potency i understand this is the way I have it to work for me. And when I run her in Territory Wars, Grand Arena, it's a lot of fun to do it this way too because you just watch those debuffs spread. Okay. Let's see if I can spread shock to more than one person. Oh, it didn't even get shock there. I'm going to try to back up shock and do more damage so we could watch the ability actually. Basic, basically. I'm just trying to survive as many rounds as possible so we can get Dark Side Bastila to go. Not even going to use Annihilate. Don't know a person that's ever said that before. <laughs> Back to Dark Side Bastila. And let's see how many stuns we can get. We still got two stuns. Okay, that's what you're looking for here. You're getting those two stuns. Let's attack the other guys. Let's get rid of you. Okay, so there you have it. Now, I know these were really weak enemies. You know, they're the best one that I could run through right now. If I had some Galactic War left, I would probably do it. Hey, I got a zombie shark. 
but you get the premise of what's going on yes i'd like her a lot faster you should want her a lot faster as well so make sure you add that speed to her again like i said i didn't want to change too many mods around uh because of grand arena well and even though it said a few days ago i could i just have the raid coming up soon territory battles i just kind of wanted to keep it the way it does so there you have it i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you learned something if you did please smash the subscribe button like the video click the notification bell so you can be alerted to all videos that i post also i'm leaving a link to my discord server and patreon page in the description below make sure to check that out and as always leave comments in the comment section video ideas um agree or disagree constructive criticism all that stuff helps me out tremendously and most of my video ideas come from your from the comment section here so thank you very much and keep commenting otherwise peace out and may the force be with you